Hey guys, what's up? Um, so in the previous video we learned how to use the if then else statement or just the if statement. So today we're going to be practicing um, the if statement with this little example. So basically you're going to be entering your name and your gender using just M or F for female and for male. When we press add, it's going to be adding all the men to the list box component and all the women to the women list box component. So let's start by adding a different name to it. L S T M and L S T F. Okay. Let's call this one EDT name and EDT gender. Let's start coding. Let's add some variables. Variables is name and is let's add is name let's type string and see gender is a type char let's start is name equals et name dot text and see gender colon equals um et gender this should be the first let, first character which is just an M or an F. Um, let's say the person might be entering the F or the um, M as lowercase, so we'll just be converting it to an uppercase character for them to make sure it is an uppercase. You can use the uppercase one which is just for um, one character. Okay, let's start by checking if the user have entered um, these things correctly. So then, um, if C gender equals not correctly, just basic works. Okay, if it equals this first to the M. If it equals male, then begin list box dot lst uh, main dot. What did I name this thing? Oh, m. Okay, m dot items dot add. Then we'll add the name. Uh, how are we going to end? It's just say name plus comma plus his gender. So that would be plus male because he is. Let's just add his name. I don't know, don't know why, why we want to add the other stuff. So basically, we're just going to be adding his name to it. And then we can do two of these. For instance, we can say if it's female then you should add it to the female ones this will work but we know that it's only going to be um m or f always or it has to be it doesn't mean it will be so we can also use the else but i'm just going to be using it like this no, it doesn't work why does it work for property oops this must be your text. My mistake again. Sorry. Okay. This should be um text because it selects the first character in the EDT genders text property. So let's enter a name. My name is Sean Result. I am gender male. Hmm, let's also add it so that it clears the thing when we when we finished. ET dot clear and EDT dot clear you also set yeah, you also also set the focus to the name one again set focus okay so again yeah, I'm Sean result I'm gender male um, my friend Harrod so is a male also then let's say 
blanche is a type female and Yurik Jacobs is a type male um well solder Kreivachen I think that's how you spell it. Uh, anyway, the type female and Carla Dice also also type female. Uh, so that's basically as you guys can see that, that works. Um, if we add for instance something such as um John Dry Labber uh, it's a type mm, N for none or A for alien, then it won't work because you never, um, it, even the areas you click it like that. Basically, because it doesn't exist, that one A, it, ju it, just, it just checks for uh, M or F. You'll later learn how to display an error message to the person if he, if he doesn't, if he haven't entered um, M, M or F, so he has to enter it. Okay, let's add the code for the try button, so it will include this, as well as some other stuff, such as lstm.clear, as well as lstf.clear. Okay, let's add some dummy code. That's the name, m, m, f, so then we can type on the, we try and it will clear everything for us. Alright, that's basically it for this video guys, um, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.